For lunch today, the plan is to have pumpkin soup and leftover cornbread that we had from last night. I'm running a little short on time, it's 11.30. We try to eat around 12. And I don't have a recipe for pumpkin soup. Um, when I first made this a couple years ago, my husband thought it was gonna be really sweet, you know, that sticky sweet pumpkin soup. But I actually make this more like a pumpkin vegetable soup and he said he really liked it this way. So there's no recipe for it, but we're gonna start out with all the ingredients that you would with a normal basic soup and that is sauteing some onions in some oil and then I'm going to add some garlic to this just before I start adding the rest of my ingredients. Onions are almost done. There they are. They're nice and translucent. They smell fragrant. Um, in the freezer I had, you're probably wondering what this is, this is actually some minced garlic from a couple years ago I found in my freezer and I want to use it up and since this really saves me a lot of time I'm just going to take a hunk, break off a hunk of it. Oh, about that much. It's not that, maybe a couple clothes worth. And I'm just going to toss that right in the pot. Now something else I learned is that if you want to make your spices more tasty and fragrant, you cook them a little bit before you add your liquid. So I'm just going to take, this is thyme, no pea, I'm going to dump this in. And we're just going to put some in here. And this is actually going to cook a little bit before Go. And I'm going to say this is maybe a half a teaspoon, a teaspoon, somewhere around there. The last thing is some rosemary. Not too much of that, a little bit. Okay, so we're just, Pete, just keep stirring that up, honey. And get that nice and fragrant. Oh, it's smelling good. Do you smell, Peter, do you smell the herbs? That's, um, the one you're primarily smelling is the thyme. Add a little bit of salt to this. Yeah, about that much. Oh, a huge salt pepper. Yeah, this is the core stuff, but it'll, it'll all dissolve. It'll be okay. Okay, so, so far we've done the rosemary, the thyme, and then I'm just gonna add a little bit of paprika. Can I just add it? Yep, just a little tiny, just a tiny right. bit. Shake, 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 that's good. It's gonna make it taste spicy. It's kind of chaotic whenever I try to Work around with kids. Now, what I'm going to be doing with the flour is it's not really a roux. Yeah, I'm going to no. say. You want me to open it? Okay, this is a quarter cup measure open here. It? This isn't quite full. So it's probably like two, ta two tablespoons, three tablespoons of flour. No, don't open that, please. No, you and then we're going to add this to our pot here. There we go. Now, Pete, I need you to stir that up a little bit, okay? Okay. Okay, don't make a mess. Hold on, it might be hot. Sorry, I need hot gloves. Okay, and here's our pumpkin. Looks like the pumpkin's just about thawed out. I got my hot gloves. I'm sorry, guys, if I'm making you dizzy. This is trying to use film with one hand and cook with another hand and help Peter. Okay, so this is what the pumpkin looks like. It's not totally thawed out, but that it looks like it's a nice thick consistency. Pete's just stirred in that flour. I have hot gloves. Okay. Make sure you get all that, and we're just going to cook that flour for maybe a minute. That's just going to take that floury taste out of the flour, because we really don't want the floury taste. We just want it to thicken up the pumpkin. But watch out, honey. It's coming off the burner. Move the pot. There we go. That looks about good. Flour is turning a little brown. Now I'm going to start adding my pumpkin. Again, I don't measure this. I just sort of dump until it looks like it's about right. Okay, so... This is, I'm going to add maybe four of these. Let's see how it looks. One, start, gently stir it. Two, three, four, no, I want more than that. Five, I'm making a mess of my stove. Make some more, I like pumpkin soup. Well, remember, we're still going to add the chicken broth to it, too. Six. Okay, let's see if that's good. Okay, and then I add some chicken broth. Okay, so I'm going to add two cups of water here to the pot. But it's not just going to be plain water, unless you think this is going to be bad. Just two cups of water. And then, oh, I found this in my cupboard. This is actually uh, some of my old stock. They don't make this any this in this container anymore. But this is the Watkins chicken soup base. This is so much better than chicken bouillon and 
I mean, let's face it, I don't always have time to constantly have chicken stock on hand. I, I mean, I try to make a lot of my own bone broth, but I don't always have time. And the Watkins has such a nice flavor to it, so I always keep that on hand. I never buy my buy chicken, chicken bouillon anymore. So anyways, I'm going to add a couple spoonfuls of this. One, two, and... Three. Okay, mix that in, Pete. I just got some black pepper I'm going to throw in there. Do, 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 do. Oh, that looks about good. Okay, Pete, mix that in, please. Yippee, yummy. I love this stuff. Okay, now we're just going to let this simmer for a little while. Maybe 15, 20 minutes, just enough to get all those flavors to combine. I probably should taste this, see how we're doing on flavor. Okay, let's give this a taste. Now we will taste. Oh, it tastes really good. Okay. It almost tastes like um. Oh, it just tastes like fall. I don't know. It's just as wonderful. Now it's not done yet. This is just for the flavors. What do you think? If you put an apple, it'll probably taste better. Okay, so what would taste this um? Well, it's not necessarily going to... It's going to take up a little bit. No. But, but what else do you have to add? Okay, what else do I have to add? I have to add um, some type of cream. It can be heavy cream. I don't have any heavy cream on hand right now, so I'm going to be using half and half. And then I usually like to serve this with a dollop of sour cream in the top and then some crunchy croutons. That's my favorite way to serve this pumpkin soup. However... I don't have croutons on hand right now, so I'm just going to be adding the cream to this. And I do have all those tortillas, so maybe maybe we can make some crunchy tortilla sticks. So it's been about 10 minutes, and the soup did, is not as thick as I would like it because we're going to add that cream to it, and that's going to water it down some more. So um, my, I don't know what this is called. My mom taught me this a long time ago. You just take some water in the bottom of a glass. And I'm going to add some flour to it. We'll see. I might have to add more flour than that. And you just whisk this until it's perfectly smooth. Let's see. I'm going to add a little bit more flour to that. Now, I guess some of you can use cornstarch as a thickener. I was never raised using cornstarch as a thickener. I always, My mom always used flour and water. So we're just going to add some more flour to this, stir it up, and you want to make sure there's no lumps in this. That looks pretty free of lumps. Okay, so now the next trick, I'm going to have to get a kid to help film this because I need two hands for this one. Now we're just going to take this little bit of flour and water and add a little bit at a time. Make sure you stir because we don't want to make this lumpy like biscuits or something. <laughs> You might laugh, Pete, but you wouldn't like it. Is it thick in it? It is. See how much thicker it is? Can I see? Can I see it? See how much thicker it is? Pete, the camera. Honey, you gotta keep it on. No, Mommy's gonna stir right now. Alright, so that looks about how I like it. It's looking good. Now, some people don't like to do this, some people do. I'm just gonna puree this a little bit and chop up those onions a little bit finer. Mm, looks nice and smooth now. All right, so now we're gonna add a little bit of half and half. And add however much you like. I don't add very much to mine, but you can add as little or as much as you'd like. Mm, let's taste it. Mm. Don't want to burn myself because then I can't enjoy it later. Mm. So good. It tastes like fall and winter. This is really good. This is good. And I love mm -hmm. cornbread in it. Mm -hmm. yeah, you like it with the cornbread in it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I like this cornbread. I what? like when I put the skin in there. So this is not one of those sweet, sweet pumpkin nutmeggy soups. No, this is really a uh, a nice flavored fall type soup. And if your husband has tried regular old pumpkin soup, the sweet kind before, don't 
knock this recipe because this one has a really, really nice flavor to it. And Art's not a sweet guy, but he, well, I take that back. <laughs> Art doesn't like sweet pumpkin pie soup, but he likes this savory version of pumpkin soup. So I'll, um, I just went on my blog and I realized I have never written a recipe for this at all. So I'm going to try to sit down and make a recipe for this and post it so you guys can try making this yourself and hopefully you'll see a link either up here or down below for that recipe. Grace likes the soup. Yes, she does. Look at her go. Is that good? Yeah, I, you know, at first she, I didn't think she was going to like it because it's kind of like, but obviously she keeps opening her mouth and she's eating more, so I guess she likes it. We've got plenty of pumpkins still left. Yep, we can make more pumpkin soup for another day. Yeah, because it's real, the pumpkin soup is really yummy. That must have been good because the pan is empty. Can't believe it. I never thought we'd eat that much.